Hello and welcome to another YouTube video, street photography point of view video, headed back to Bellevue. Uh, it's a soggy day, a little bit of drizzle right now, uh, but that's going to fit well, and sometimes the universe aligns like this, uh, with my planned photography assignment, which was to create photos in black and white. So what I'm going to do in my camera, because I'm uh, creating images in RAW format, I'm going to create them in black and white, get a preview here. But since they're being captured in RAW, uh, when I get to the computer, I will still have the color data if I want it later on. But primarily this will be a visualization tool, help me uh, create images, see them uh, in black and white as well. Uh, I'm gonna walk around a couple different areas in Bellevue downtown than I usually do. I'll kind of stay kind of to the, let's see, I guess it'd be the south, north end of downtown. I usually kind of stay in the middle area. Uh, there's some new construction uh, on that end. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, the gear for today is uh, the Fujifilm X-T3 for my camera, uh, 16 to 80 for the zoom. Uh, one of the zooms, I'm gonna also bring the 70 to 300. And uh, I'm bringing two primes as well in case I wanna be uh, a little more uh, subtle, I guess, in uh, walking around with a lens. Uh, I have the uh, Viltrox 23 millimeter F1.4 and the Fujinon uh, 50 millimeter F2. And speaking of trying to be a little stealthier, one of the things I wanna also do and challenge myself and stretch a little bit uh, it, today is include uh, some people in at least some of the photos. I tend to not do that. I, I'm not 100% sure why. I think it's a, just a comfort level of uh, being in people's spaces and stuff like that and, and privacy. Uh, so when I do this, I, what I tend to try and do is keep the people anonymous. Uh, backs of people, you know, maybe a foot, something like that, where it's not a specific person. Uh, again, to kind of respect privacy and be aware of all that. So that's my plan for today. We'll see how we do in the the drizzle, the gray, and all that, but it should uh, work well in black and white. And I'll see you after you've seen the photos. Okay.
bit about that last photo. I know it's color and the video was supposed to be black and white in Bellevue, but I included that last photo in color for a couple reasons. Probably the most obvious one is because of those Lego bags. Uh, the color in those bags, the gold and the, and the red, are part of the story in that photo. So it really needed the color. Um, the other reason I included that is because I really liked um, those three, or well, there were four high school students. Uh, they were there for, I'm guessing, a DECA convention that was in town uh, in Bellevue. And uh, they were walking down the street carrying Lego bags. And I thought, here's these students dressed in their suits, uh, grown up and they're still carrying Lego bags. They're still in those in-between years. Uh, so that was a really powerful part of the story for me. I also included that photo so I could talk a little bit about how when you think you're done creating photos, especially in an environment like this, or I've even happened in a, had it happen in a portrait session where you say you're done, and then that's where the photo happens. There's one more. Uh, I always tell students when they ask, how many photos do you need to take? I say, one more. Uh, there's always one more. So uh, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a, a different journey. I know it'll tank on social media. Nobody seems to like black and white in the Instagram world, but I sure do. Uh, it was a great experience looking literally in grayscale in black and white through the viewfinder and seeing the compositions uh, as they would get rendered digitally. So that was uh, a great exercise for me, uh, something I'll do more and more of, I think, as a, a way to jumpstart creativity, jumpstart looking at things in a different way. So if you have thoughts, comments, suggestions, as always, you know, leave them down below in the comments. I'd love to have conversation with you about uh, photography and all the things you're thinking about. Uh, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. That helps train the YouTube algorithm about videos you like, so that's a benefit for you. And it also helps, hopefully, this video reach a wider audience. Uh, if you like this video, another way you can see more videos like this is to subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing these uh, street photography point of view videos uh, at an ongoing basis throughout the year, so I look forward to seeing you uh, in those videos ahead. Uh, next week's video will be a question and answer video. I'm going to answer some questions from students in photography classes. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions you want to ask, you can again leave them in the comments below as well, and I will get to those in the next week video. So I uh, hope you are doing well. hope you are safe and healthy in the midst of, again, this world that seems to be one thing after another. Uh, and again, we can hopefully use our art as a way to uh, both understand what we're feeling emotionally as well as uh, contribute something back to the world. So I hope you're able to do that. Uh, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.